I haven't been here in so long that I walk past and I'm like, wait, hola, 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 hola. I walked too far, so I have to walk back and I'm already late. Oh, why am I wearing this? I can actually breathe outside for a bit. It's actually nice today. such a good job. Oh, I feel like I'm back to life. Being really frigid out there on the way home. I don't even know if I can go out tonight because how am I gonna sit outside? I'm gonna make a quick lunch right now and then film one video. I wanted to film two, but honestly, the energy is really low after being at the studio, the salon, only because like the vibe's just not the same. I didn't get a haircut today because it would have cost $100 more. I need to keep my coins in the bank because we don't know what tomorrow will bring. So if anything, I have made an appointment for three months from now. So if I don't lose my job and things go well, then I'll go back in, probably go lighter because I'm not like, I only went back to basics, count on the Rona to be the only thing to get me to go back to my natural hair color. I haven't been this color in 15 years. I'm in a very strange mood. Like I feel like I'm in a funk. Part of it's because the city's never gonna be the same. The other part of it's just like, as much as we talk about this Rona life and everything, at least we know one day there's an end in sight. Every time I think about this, my vision loss. That's one thing that's changed my life in a huge way that's not going away anytime soon. And because of that, like, I honestly have a hard time on days like these where I visit places from my past, such as the hair salon, which also happens to be in the same neighborhood, literally half a block away from two of the restaurants that I worked at for, what, seven, eight years. So I have a lot of memories in that neighborhood. I actually never admitted this before, none of my friends know, but if I'm ever in a car or on a streetcar, I start to hyperventilate. I don't wanna call it PTSD because it's not that serious, but I would have a physical reaction to going through that neighborhood my body just like shuts down. So even though I didn't hyperventilate, thank God I've moved on from those days, I still had an emotional response to being around there and like having the memories of having more vision and just being in a different space and place in life. I don't know, I'm just gonna have my latte. Best home store in the city. You can get anything your heart desires. Really, really good deal. Hopefully you can hear me. Let's see. I need a cutting board. Where would that be? Here? I think. They have all these little gadgets and bake sheets. That one's so pretty. There they are. My friend was roasting me about my cutting board, so let's get a new one. Side between these three. I kind of need a new frying pan too, but this one is so pretty for the same price. I've been needing a new lamp, but they don't have floor length ones. Plus, I don't really want to bring that home on the subway. This candle smells so good. It's only six bucks. Finally! Meanwhile, I dropped it on my camera. I really needed a new cutting board because my friend roasted me. He's like, you're really gonna post that what I eat in a week with that cutting board? I'm not gonna go back and redo all of those meals because that's just overkill and who knows how many people are gonna even watch that video anyway. But going forward, at least I have a pretty cutting board and I love this one because it has the gold flakes in there. What? Black and gold, black and gold, black and gold. All those clothes, all those closets full for what? Nowhere to go. 
Now it's Club A up in here. Sometimes it looks brown. Other times like this, it looks white. It's the same carton. Imagine if I was holding, ooh, ooh, I did too much. Burdock root. I'll close this because no more snacks for me. I wonder if I can make a, because I can't check the expiry date. It's too tiny. I think I'll zoom in on my phone actually. And then if it is, if the date is right, then I'm going to have a bagel. If not, then I'm not. <laughs> But that's pretty much how my day goes. Off to a wonderful start. It's gloomy. Again, it's like three for three. I'm wearing all black like I work. I'm a Mac employee. I don't know what's going on. I hate wearing all black. I used to have to wear all black when I worked at Zara, when I worked at Victoria's Secret. Carlton cards, I could wear whatever I want. Wow, that's a throwback. I haven't said that in years. Um, at the end of working at the three restaurants, because both times the owner came in and a girl was not dressed right, we had to switch to wearing all black. So one person ruined it for it all. Cause you see all that clothes in my closet I was cleaning out yesterday. I need to go, I'm not trying to be late today. Especially if I'm gonna be on the head office side, like what? But I am interested to see what this is gonna be like because it's something different. And after all I've been doing, I mean, I did have six months off, but I was doing the same thing over and over again. Like my job is super repetitive, which is why I can do it so well being visually impaired. So it's nice that I'm gonna be able to try to do something completely different now. But I heard that it's also super repetitive. So it's like, great. It's probably gonna be different for two days and then a lot of the same. I hate when things drop because it trips me out. So I would check in with you guys, but you'll never know. I accidentally pressed stop the recording. That's what happens when you film on a phone. This wouldn't be uh, Alicia's vlog without a Zara haul. Every week, something new. Clearly she's got a problem. Okay, I've never got a box in a box before. This should be a little purse. A little purse. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Why is the tag still on though? Explain. Maybe this is a sign from God that I shouldn't have bought it. First of all, it did not look this small online. I would never buy Like, what is this for? One dollar? A loony? A toonie? So I have to walk in and return this, and the alarm's gonna go off, so they're gonna think I'm a thief. You've gotta be kidding me. So tiny. Like, I thought this was like, like enough for an iPhone to fit in. This is like a Alice in Wonderland, take the little pill and Minimize it. The girl who has everything, she doesn't have one of these. This is what a shopaholic tells herself every time she places an order. And ooh, these feel mad cheap. What's going on with this order? There's been a couple orders where I've returned everything, and there's been some orders where I've kept one thing because every time I shop, it's like, what is this? This feels like, you know, the sleeve that you put your umbrella in. Oh, it's not bad at all. It reminds me of Christmas. Is that usually what chai tastes like? The last time I had chai, I did not like it, let me tell you. It tasted like licorice, but this doesn't taste like that at all. It tastes like a warm hug on a cold day. So cliche. Multitasking, multi-mind looks like. Over here, oops, I almost knocked over my camera again. We did that a couple of vlogs ago. Let's not do this again today, please. See that there's a whole bunch going on here and none of it makes sense. I decided to cook clearly cuisines from parts of the world that I never met before because I got Plantain over here with a honey marinated soy salmon and then roasted potatoes. Where they do that at? Looks like the bun is gonna be the hairstyle for the fourth quarter 2020 since that's just my go-to. I have all, 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 all of this. All of this. All. It still goes. It still goes. It still goes. All of this to edit. All. All. How is this blind girl gonna do it all? Oh my gosh, it's still going. Okay, no, 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 this must be two weeks of vlogs. This can't be just one. This, okay, we made it back to the top. That was a whole journey. We're on the same page here. That's two hours and 50 minutes.
It's Water Wednesday. All the plants get some love, but not too much water though. I know it's random to put a plant in the sink, but you can hear it's draining. I've already watered everything else and it reminded me that I need to clean the windowsill. Everything over here is happy. This one's growing so much. I'm so proud. As soon as I started putting some fertilizer in it, for one year, it was literally as tiny as this one. Literally. I'm home. Why am I so excited to be home? It's such a sunny day. If I knew it was gonna go from torrential thunderstorms, okay, maybe it wasn't thunderstorms, perhaps it was just heavy rain this morning, to a sunny, super mild fall day, I would have planned, dressed accordingly, and maybe tooken, tooken you, great English, Alicia, taking you somewhere downtown. I did go downtown though, but I didn't do anything interesting. I just returned that Zara stuff, and when I returned the purse with the tag attached, the girl was looking at me and looking at the purse, and I'm like, I don't know, they sent it to me like that, which is why this is the beginning of, what day is it? Ooh. So, I hope tomorrow is as warm and mild as today so I can actually take you somewhere and personally I need to get out of the house and do something. Tonight's just gonna be a boring night, I gotta keep it real. Sometimes my life is just boring. I just wanna make sure that I know the ins and outs of this before that video is posted next week. Can you even see what I'm pointing at in this shot? This, I'll never get used to this retro look. The rest of the gym is a completely different vibe but I'm so happy that guy is not here from the last time. I remember the one that was on his phone the entire time. And I wanted to use some of the machines he was just chilling on. I sweat out my hair. That's the best workout I've done in months. I don't know where I got the energy from, but I'm here for it because I feel even more energized after doing that. I did everything. I did legs, butt, arms, core, cardio. Whew, that was a good workout. Definitely what I needed for the midweek. Now, time to do some putting. I'm gonna podcast really early today. That way I can wipe my teeth instead of trying to do that midnight past my bedtime. Okay, boom. So tomorrow I'm supposed to bring this to work. <sighs> if you check that Mexico vlog, that's the trip where not only did this battery expand, this started heating up like a mofo to the point where it would crash. It never did that before. And that's when I dropped my camera in the ocean and they scammed me. They charged me $300 and all they did was use a Q-tip to wash off the salt water. That camera shut off on the cab ride back and then I had to pay to get it repaired here. Otherwise, I would not be a YouTuber anymore. So there's this thing called the, the Assistive Devices Program, ADP in Ontario. And now it only covers certain devices, but catch this, every single device does not magnify enough for me. So all those devices that I showed when I went to the optometrist at the top of the year, where I spent 240 of my own money, I love that I'm talking about so much coin stuff here, but this is the nitty gritty of being legally blind. I could take you to the park, I could take you to the beach in the summertime, we can go to the fancy restaurants, but when it comes down to it, this is life legally blind, and I wanna share this. They slashed the, hello, hello, what's going on here? Oh, okay, it works. The benefits in half. So whatever it was, I think it was like up to $1,400, which is a lot, don't get me wrong. I think, okay, it's not 700, but maybe it's like $1,000. But get this, I don't know what's going on here. There is not a single device that I shared in that video that is less than $1,000. Laptops, computers, phones never just do one thing, which is why I thought this would be a good investment but the devices they'd be trying to get us to sign up for literally do one thing. Binoculars were $500, binoculars. So I'm supposed to go to work and hold up binoculars with one hand and type with the other? Let's be serious here. Esight version three, cause I think they have the version four, that was 8K. Why is it a mobile app though? Come on, fam. So there's nutrition communication more in like the health and wellness sphere. I haven't even talked to you guys about this. Okay, we'll talk about this more when the lighting is better so you can see my face. But all you need to know for now is, yeah, I'm reconsidering going back to school. And because it's been so long, like as old as this computer, I have to do an assessment to make sure that everything's still fresh and sharp in there, which it is not. Na 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 na. There's biochemistry, there's microbiology, there's accounting, there's statistics, there's program development, menu planning, costing, enteral feeding. Like, yo, it's so much work. And going through the 
first half or first third, I should say, of the exam reminded me of how much I've learned and how much I basically threw away because I didn't use it for the last decade. Decade! It's just crazy. There's this book called The Alchemist. I highly recommend anyone out there that's sad with their life, that feels lost, read it. I read it when I was... Hmm, I didn't read it. I listened to the audiobook because life leads blind. So this is the package. Can you see where it's from? I got a new set because she's set obsessed. No Game of Thrones. This material though, I know I'm a weirdo, but I always have to smell the material because if it holds the manufacturer smell, which it does, chances are it's gonna hold your smell, which could be a good or bad thing. If you're like me and you spray perfume, but if you're like me and you're also phasing out of antiperspirants, I've been using natural deodorant for two months. They said it would take two to four weeks to get accustomed to it. Uh, I'm still gonna use it. Oh, it only came up to 56 Canadian dollars, which is not bad. Let's not talk about the shipping prices. At least there were no duties this time. Still, money is money, and I think you guys know that I'm very like budget conscious, so when I'm spending something, I'm considering this an investment. Like, Either way, I don't care if joggers are a trend next year, I'm gonna be wearing the ish out of this for years to come. So it'd be nice if it matched just a little bit more, but first world problem. Just tried them on, and there's a hole in the pocket. Honestly, it's not the biggest problem. I got this darker shade because fall is here. Well, truthfully, if I'm TMI with you, it's because I like to wear sweatpants during that time of the month so I can breathe <laughs> and also so I can feel safe and secure. I know I've played a lot with fire by wearing white pants during menses. Who uses that word? But I figure, you know what, one day karma's gonna get me, so let me just get a dark pair of joggers and have them in case of anything. Night is a night that I'm deleting. Sorry about the list, but I'm wetting my teeth. Deleting all of these blog posts. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm over. Like, who uses blogger anymore? Why is it still here? Da -da -da! Permanently delete. It's honestly comments like these. That's why I do it for. I even understand. Sometimes comments come at the perfect time. I was like, okay, I'm done for the day. Let me log off. And I'm just like, let me just check these two comments that I got. And then I checked that one and it was just warm my heart. Honest, I just, whoo, just take a moment. I don't think you understand. I know it's just words on a screen, but for me, like I get frustrated with myself. I don't really show the editing process during my vlogs because I figure it's boring. I did it once before, if you go back to like third quarantine and chill. But it's a long process. And as my vision gets worse, it gets like, or frustrating but because I still love it I get joy out of it it's way better than the type of work I do at work you know so when I get messages like that I feel like it's all worth it I'm saying all of this to say that I really appreciate each and every one of you guys I've been lagging on the DMs I have intentionally because I've been wanting to give more energy to my work life as well as my YouTube life and if I'm in the DMs responding to people's personal inquiries that takes up a lot of energy like I give a lot when I respond. I don't just say like a short acronym and that's it. Like a lot of people message me being like, hey, you're the first person I've met with Stargus disease. Here's a paragraph. And I'm like, homie, you're blind too. Why are you writing me a paragraph? And I've cried before, but I know it's part of the process. At the end of the day, literally at the end of the day, it's moments like these that make it worth it. This weather has me feeling like I'm walking through Sleepy Hollow, some type of horror movie. I love it. You don't get foggy days very often here in Toronto, maybe like once a year, if that. So this is, this is exciting. I know this is weird, but this is a good way to start Friday. gonna be the death of me like I don't know what does it say I'm trying to get it to print oh what it says when I zoomed in it said paper that's all it said Possess. Come back. I decided to come home for my lunch break <clears throat> Ooh, construction is strong it's so nice out though 
It doesn't even feel like fall. This feels like the end of summer. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Oh, hi! <laughs> I've seen this before. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like espresso. I have ran home, so all those days of going to the elliptical were worth it. If I did not, whew, my hair would be curly. Wow, that has been a whirlwind of weather. It started off foggy, then it was hot, an unusually hot for this time of year, and then it's gonna thunderstorm later tonight. I was hanging out with my friend Roz. We used to work together at Zara, what? More than 10 years ago now, because I was 19, I think she was 18. Yeah, so I've known her for years and years and years and years, and it was really good to catch up with her and just see how she's doing amidst this crazy Rona life we're living. I should probably just order truffle fries and call it a day, but I haven't had a Belgian waffle in so long. Why not? Last Friday, there was so many people in here. Wow, it's so quiet, I can actually hear myself echoing. Like, when is it ever? I love that this person's watching me film. I don't know if her head's gonna pop out again. No? Morning loves, it's Saturday. I don't know if this is the beginning of a vlog or the ending of another one, but we'll see in the editing process or actually you'll see in the sequence of this vlog. But today we're going for a hike. It's cold AF. Yesterday was ideal hiking weather because it was 21 degrees. When does that ever happen in October? You can see I still got my tag on from the outfit that I tried on the other day. I told myself, let's pour coffee music. And then I went with Bryson Tiller. So hopefully I don't get copyright claimed on that. I'm currently making some espresso for my friends because we're meeting here before we go all the way to Hamilton. For those of you who don't know, let me just go turn off the light here and it's easier to walk backwards. Hamilton is a city that is, uh, la, la, I wanna say two, maybe not even, maybe an hour and 45 minutes west west of here <laughs> extra strength deodorant just in case i sweat because it is cold today like this is canadian fall right here but anyways i'm gonna clean up my house a little bit i got my swiffer over there i have my wipe somewhere over there that i've been like sterilizing things just in case you know my house is clean but i like it to be extra clean when people come over are you like that too like are you organized and neat and then you do the most when people come or do you just like maintain or you just leave it like it is? I always feel a little offended. I always feel a type of ways when I go to someone's place and it is in shambles. Like you didn't care enough to put X away. They're so interesting They're trees. Just like the coolest, yeah. The coolest. If you hear me slip, move out of the way because it's going to be painful. <laughs> In 1.4 kilometers, 
exit to Highway 403s, Toronto. This is Shorty's husband's birthday. Sunday and I'm falling over. <laughs> I did some laundry this morning. I'm a mask. I'm in my own house. You know what's so funny? This guy I used to hang out with during the quarantine. He would always say that because he was living so close to another building, he could see right in. And these people would be wearing masks in their own house, living alone. Why? I don't get it. Paranoia on level high. I have to do my laundry twice because the machine I chose was broken. So it just kind of trapped my clothes in while it was soaking wet. But at least it is done. Now I'm editing a vlog that doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna split it into three parts just so that the week makes sense. And I think I'm gonna take a break from the weekly vlog. So there won't be one next week. Well, there will be only because I'm now three weeks behind on my vlogs, but in real time and space, in this parallel universe, there's not gonna be a vlog this week because I really need to take a break. I am burnt out. And I don't want to get to the point where I have a breakdown. <laughs> I need to figure out what I'm doing with work, studying for that exam, just everything. Yeah, even my hair feels like a mess. Like, I feel like a mess. I never got my hair done a week ago. It doesn't feel like it. I'm still not used to my natural hair color. Why did I do that? I probably look more crazy. This is a sign that I need to end the vlog here. Okay, so anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this week in my life. I had so much fun on that hike yesterday. I'm so happy that we got to get out of the city for a bit and I got to bring you along for a little bit. And yeah, until next time, stay sane, stay safe, stay blessed. Love and later.